Do you sometimes turn up in the office and you've planned to connect and collaborate with someone in person but they're not there? How do you plan ahead to make that possible? Well, I want to take a look at Microsoft Places together with you. And this is a feature where we can choose to indicate, you know, what days we're planning to work in the office, remote, remote, remote. Oh, I'm in the office on a Saturday. Let's just pretend that it's Friday. It's Friday in the US right now anyway. Um, and I can indicate that to the rest of my team, and that's my plan. Um, and when I do that, then it's also going to indicate up here when they look at the calendar in New Outlook, or even within, uh, right here within the, the calendar within Microsoft Teams, that I can see those locations that I'm planning to work. So let's get back into how did we, or what is this feature? This is, um, Microsoft Places, which is a another platform, a, a, a different app and set of uh, tools that allow organizations to um, manage availability, occupancy of who's in the office, meeting rooms that are available. There's a whole lot of stuff to that. But at the very basics, um, we can use the Places app within Outlook, uh, on our app rail, within um, within Microsoft Teams again, uh, same place. Uh, and, um, and we can add that there to get a, a good sense of uh, what's my plan and what are others doing as well. So it all ties in to a common tool for planning um, our work availability. I've found it in the app catalog, um, installed it already, opened it, and of course pinned it to on the app rail. It does land here in the explore feature, which uh, as you can see here, there are other things coming soon about um, how to um, manage more, more features, more occupancy, more resources. But the people uh, tab is definitely still available. And that allows me to see across the, the working week uh, that these are the, pe the people that I work with commonly are available um, and is going to be in the office on those locations in those days. Um, if we go over to collaborators, uh, so I have chosen uh, these three people that I want to connect with and catch up with frequently. Um, so I'll plan my, my day to be in the office at the same time to collaborate. Um, and so you could edit this, uh, searching for people. Uh, and there are other various locations for doing this too. Uh, these are just suggestions, but we'll definitely confirm Laura and Matt. They're now starred, so that means that when we go back over to a view, we can definitely see I've confirmed. These are people that I work with frequently. So that helps us to see uh, when we go over to things like the calendar, let's just refresh that, um, that up in the top right hand corner, it will appear shortly, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, that a colleague is in the office today. When we plan to set our location, uh, work location, um, we can do this in our um, settings within um, Outlook. Uh, but there's a quick way to get to those settings if we click on the location uh, that we have planned. Um, ah, let's just go the other way. We'll go through to settings, we'll go through to work hours and location. Um, we're used to seeing this, of course, uh, within Outlook. It's been there for years and years. We've got the different uh, days that we plan to work, the hours that we plan to work, but what has been new has been this space here where we can uh, choose, are we going to be in the office? Are we going to be remote? We can even mix things up uh, in terms of days that maybe on Monday, I might, um, you know, be in the office from, let's just drag that up here, till 2.30, and that may be uh, from 2.30 onwards to the rest of the day, where is it, uh, that I would be working remotely because I pick up the kids uh, from school, uh, you know, for 30 minutes, and then I'm back continuing to work. So that's one way to um, re sort of reflect that in terms of my working style. That's my plan, my work plan and location, my regular one that is set and I would be using uh, week by week. I can, of course, change that. Um, let's just save those changes, head on back to my calendar, and that maybe if I jump forward a week, then I might say, 
Well, I'm in the office on Monday, but uh, for Tuesday next week, I also plan to be in the office. So I can click this uh, work location, drop this down and say, I plan to be in the office. And uh, oh look, Laura's planning to be there too. Uh, so that might have influenced my decision. I wanna be in there and work with Laura collaboratively as well. Um, and just to also show, if we go back to the current week, I've kind of ruined this a little bit because I was practicing during my recording. Um, but up here in the top right hand corner, you're going to see uh, a list of the pe other people that are planning to work in the office that you're connected with. And if you have come into the office and you're glancing at your calendar, ready to plan your day, you'll also have an option to check in. You know, there's one thing to plan and say that I am going to be in the office or planning to be in the office, but am I actually in? And uh, you can either do that from here or as you click on your current day, whoop, you'll have an option here to check in. See, I've already checked in. And that confirms, just zoom back out a bit, that confirms that these people are actually in the office more than just planned to be in the office. So I like these tools, they're really good. Um, actually, there's one other one here which I, I discovered as I was playing around with it. You know, things are always appearing in in various places in Microsoft 365. Um, what was it? It was here, it was this third one, this third option that if I was glancing across the week, uh, maybe even this morning, I got up and I just wasn't feeling well, maybe I'll set my out of office. Uh, so I can do this ahead of time or today. Let's set that, scoot on down to the, um, the full window, we can say, not feeling well, back tomorrow, and save. So where does that appear? Well, it, it sets my day to being um, fully blocked and out of office, that's cool. And um, I've also got that sort of um, entry within my calendar that lets the rest of my team know that I am not feeling well. Um, that will also require one other thing. If you want to share your details with people uh, in your calendar, then um, that is certainly something you can set your permissions on your calendar. Let's just zoom in and have a look at that. Sharing permissions. I generally try and share things like my title and locations. So at a minimum, if I'm working in a place, I want to at least let people see what is it that I'm planning to do in my in my time slot and my time so that people can negotiate and say, oh, uh, actually, I'd like to book some time with you there, but I see you've got a planned task. Is it okay if you shuffle it? So I like to show that sort of stuff. But yeah, that, that sharing that calendar will mean that anyone else in my organization uh, by default will see that message as I've uh, set there to say I planned or oh, I'm out of the office today and... Um, it's clear. I know that's in a little bit of conflict here with actually checking in. Oh, so actually, there you go. It updated as I clicked it. Clicked that. Um, it's gone to out of office. Um, that's cool. What does that look like in places? Uh, places app. Here we go. People. Yep, no colleagues in the office, and that's my location. Yeah, nice one. So, not a bad little feature uh, for trying to show to your team when you plan to be in the office and also if the rest of your team are doing it that you uh, can see and plan to work with them collaboratively in person. Uh, that's places, it, it is not the, the licensed feature, as I said earlier, there is, uh, I guess, a more richer, fuller experience with places that uh, allows you to manage occupancy and assets and all that sort of stuff. But nice to have these basic bits and pieces uh, here uh, in terms of the capabilities for letting your team know that you are planning to work in the office and connect with them. So if you do like that kind of stuff uh, around learning what's new within Microsoft 365, uh, catching up with changes, opinions, okay? I do share opinions. Uh, I get a bit chatty. That's okay. It's 
who I am, it's what I do. If you don't like that, there are plenty of other people that do the three minute catch up. Uh, but if you do want to hear opinions and thoughts and exploring these features in a way that uh, we can apply them to the way that we work, scenarios, then this is the Modern Work Mentor Challenge uh, channel. So welcome, um, mistakes and all. That's just to show that I'm not AI. I don't think AI is going to purposely make mistakes. Um, I want to keep being authentic on this channel. Well, that was a long outro. That's enough. We'll catch you again. Bye for now.